Good morning. It's fantastic to see you all. Welcome to Build. We are bringing search grounding in Bing to ChatGPT. Uh, we are very excited about this. Yeah, you can clap. <laughs> Look, ChatGPT is the most sort of fast-growing consumer app we've ever seen. Uh, and search grounding is a very key feature, right? So that all the information is current and grounded uh, by what you have from the crawl and the index. And so it's fantastic to see that. We are excited to be able to it's going to launch in uh, ChatGPT Plus immediately and quickly coming even to the free tier. Uh, and we are, this is just the start of what uh, we plan to do with our partners in OpenAI to bring uh, the best of being to ch the ChatGPT experience. Um, next, we're bringing the co-pilot to the biggest canvas of all, Windows. And today, as Satya said, we're excited to announce that we're going to bring Chat, GPT, and Bing together as, with the default search experience to give you higher quality answers and more timely answers. Let's take a look. Here I am in ChatGPT, and as you can see now, Bing is the default, and when I come in and select it, I can now ask sort of real-time queries. For example, let's ask what I should expect to hear from, about build and .NET. And what you can see is the results now are more up-to-date, they include fresh content, and they include citations. In fact, if you can see the links on that page there, you can click those and those will take you straight to a web page that's sourced by Bing. We're also excited. Yeah, absolutely, you can clap for it. We're also excited to announce that we're going to bring interoperability between uh, ChatGPT and Bing for plugins. So you write them once and they're going to run everywhere. So as you can see here in ChatGPT, I've got Zillow and Instacart enabled, but I want to show them to you here in Bing Chat. So we'll flip over, and you can see again, I've got the same plugins now in both Bing Chat and in ChatGPT. And what we're going to show you now is I'll do a search here for houses in Chicago, and I can ask for a set of criteria, learn a little bit about the neighborhoods. Uh, and now I can automatically call Zillow by saying, hey, give me three houses in a certain price range that meet my criteria. And what you can see is now I get these great options. And I'm also going to get all of the other great things you get with Bing, like helpful city guides and maps and prompts. I'm going to tell you now how we're going to further add value to the plugins that you write. They're going to work not just in chat and chat GPT. They're going to work across the entire web, courtesy of the Edge browser. So here's an example. I'm on a web page here checking out a recipe for a cake. And now I can call Bing Chat and ask it to tell me, hey, give me the ingredients from this web page. And notice Bing can read the context of the web page, understand those ingredients, put them into chat, and then I can say, hey, give me a shopping list for this. And it'll automatically call the Instacart plugin, take those ingredients that are right off the page, and put them into an Instacart shopping. And with one click, I can get those now delivered to my house. This is an incredible productivity benefit for people. Uh, let's, let me show you now how. Yeah. Let's show you how you'll be more productive at work. Uh, here, I'm going to use Microsoft 365 Copilot. Uh, now I'm in Microsoft Word, and I'm going to uh, need some help for drafting a legal contract. I got a legal contract here, and I need some help with California law. So I'm going to call three plugins from Thomson Reuters to edit this document. First thing is I'll go into Copilot, and I'll, I'll pull it up, and I'll say, hey, help me understand how to edit the limitation of liability using the practical law plugin. It'll read the document, find the paragraph, and make that change. Next, I want to know if this is enforceable under California law. So I'll call the Westlaw plugin that will do that analysis, and it'll come back and give me an analysis about it from a legal perspective. And finally, since we're making lots of changes, I'd like to know the, to, the summary of all of these changes. And with document intelligence, I get a simple table that shows you all of those changes in an easy-to-read format. By joining the power of Microsoft 365 Copilot in Word with the support of these real powerful plugins like Thomson Reuters, now you can draft a legal contract in so much more powerful way. AI Studio. This is the full life cycle tool chain for you to be able to build your intelligent AI apps uh, and your co-pilots. Everything from being able to train your own models uh, to be able to then ground, whether it's OpenAI or any open source model, 
uh, with data of, that you bring, built-in uh, vector indexing in Azure Search, uh, built-in support for RAG or retrieval augmented generation support, um, built-in support for prompt engineering with prompt flow and orchestration, uh, and of course, built-in support for perhaps the most important feature, which is AI safety. One of the things that we've been hard at work is to build into the tool chain AI safety. It's, it's, we, we've been at work on AI safety for the last five years. We have principles which we have translated into a core set of processes that we implement across our engineering stack, and then of course we have all of the compliance and oversight. But the real challenge is not just to have these things outside the engineering process, but to build it into the everyday tool chain. Uh, and that's what we're doing with AI Studio. Uh Introducing Microsoft Fabric, a unified data analytics platform. One product, one experience, one architecture, one business model. Unified data is stored in one lake, a SaaS data lake for the entire organization. Data is integrated and stored in an open format, allowing one copy to be used to train machine learning models, visualize data, and run SQL queries on the lake and data warehouse. A unified experience brings together all the tools data professionals need. Pipelines for orchestrating data movement, experiments for training machine learning models, semantic models for defining key metrics, and much more. Thank you very much and have a fantastic build.